All right, episode eight, Jujutsu Kaisen. Uh, boredom. I don't think it was that boring. Yeah, it wasn't it, that no, boring at all. It definitely wasn't. Um, it was more of a, you got to see a little more inner workings of the school. You met your year threes, we'll, we'll say. A lot of character introduction this episode. Yeah, and I mean. World building. Yeah. Cause Hell you, of a fight scene between Toto and uh, I, I Megumi. I like that a lot too. Mm -hmm. It was um, because this guy, the way he introduced Toto <laughs> yeah. was like asking you what kind of woman you like. And he likes tall women with big fat ass. ass. Big asses, man. Big oh. asses. And I'm with you, Toto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would alter I'm like short, short with fat asses. With fat asses, yeah. but that's fine. That's but fine. I'm short too. I'm not in that school. So, <laughs> you probably would have beat my ass too. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe short, fat if, ass. If maybe. we would have answered like that, yeah, you maybe think we would have gained like, disrespect a little bit more? A little bit. Good, okay. That's our fight right there, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Megami said, as long as she has an unshakable character. Which I thought was. That's a good answer. Which boring. Toto overlooked. It's boring. <laughs> he wants to know what part boring of boring with yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> We're just going purely off. And, and you saw he had a, a little crush. Like a little fanboy crush yeah. that, you know, at the end of the episode, he did get the meter. Handshaking event. I have the feeling I'm going to like Toto a lot. Okay. He, you didn't... He's just aggressive, big, and apparently super strong that Megami knew. He doesn't even use uh, cursed energy. Right. Unless it's a special grade curse. So I can't wait to see him use it. Yeah. Because if this... If he's just physically dominating with the power that he has, mm -hmm. or, you know, that minimal effect against, obviously, a year one, though. Megami's pretty strong. Did you see at the very end of the fight when Megami was going to get serious? Toto was like, oh, shit. Right. But then in comes Panda and... And that's the second time, by the way. Salmon Flakes. The first time Megumi did that, it was against Sakuna. And Sakuna said they had the same reaction. He was like, oh, oh shit. Right, when he stood up against So them. they're yep. foreshadowing yep. Megumi having something that he's not letting loose so of So he's going to be... And Sakuna and power. Toto both saw he was about to get real twice. And because he played... Like, he gave him warning, like, he's not all about that. And then all of a sudden... The first time... Yuji came, it. got control of, of um, Sakuna, and the second yep. time, uh, Benito Flakes, which we don't remember his I name yet, forgot so we're his gonna name. call him Benito Flakes. But you got to see a little bit of his power too. All he has to do is talk to you. And, and you maybe can. that's why he speaks in food. Because otherwise- Everyone's dead. Yes. Because <laughs> <laughs> everyone has to listen to him, because yeah. he was able to just don't move, and Toto stop. Mm -hmm. And then you had uh, Makai. Maki. Maki. Makai. I like Maki more. Sister, who just straight up pulled out a gun. Oh, my. My, yeah. Mm -hmm. Her, Maki's sister, just like, okay, I'm just going to hand you this way. And pulls out a revolver. And it has cursed energy behind it, too, I bet. Oh, I, that I, I thought she was just losing it, and she's just a psychopath. No, I bet you that's her school. weapon for cursed energy. Oh, like, okay, and she was picking on um, Nobara, mm -hmm. who, I mean, her weapon's a hammer and nail. So, and she doesn't have it on her. Otherwise, it would have been a better fight. Beat nails in her skull. Yeah, it would have been a better fight if she had it on her. <laughs> and she put holes in her tracksuit. It was just real let down for her for that day. So, so, episode eight was not boredom. No, and it was. What, I mean, we had a whole episode. Episode seven was all fighting. Yep. This had some good fighting, but it, it did. Was, they weren't going to kill each other. That this is what this event's no, for. No, I think they're building up the, to the, uh, the school event. And right. they have to introduce right. you all the characters to the school event. And I, I'm excited to see Panda in action. Me too, man. I'm excited to see, you know, we also ended that episode with uh, Mojito. Yep, it was the uh, murder at the theater. Yep, and this dude with little Three small glasses shows Three people died up. through cranial, like, pressure. Like, From, uh, yeah, like, excessive cranial, cranial yeah. pressure. They stopped breathing. And then you show up at the end with uh, Yuji and some character we're not introduced to yet. That can see Mojito, meaning he's a curse. Because he said, oh, Ma you can see me. Mahito's a curse. Yes. Absolutely. And I, you know, you don't know that because the other guy, Ghetto, mm -hmm. it, people can see him and he's stitched up the same. I think he's Not also as a, much. I think he's also a curse. Masquerading as a human. I think. Okay. That Because when he went to the restaurant, people obviously saw him. The, yep. the and sir, for one, table for one. I think he can code switch. Which that's is my cool. prediction. I think that's I think that's neat because you're going to now see. All right, so but I'm only guessing at the end of episode eight that Mahito is a hell of a curse to deal with. Uh, yep, and I, and I'm also referencing the guy that was with Yuji, who we don't know who he is yet. He's oh, going to be the investigating the yep. murder yep. at the theater with so Yuji. We'll learn more about that in episode, episode nine. nine. Episode nine is small fry and reverse retribution, and we're going to go into that now, and uh, we'll, we'll see, see you guys there. in a couple minutes. See you.